Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting attacked by this tree. <laughs> but today's video is going to be a collective Christmas decor haul. I have so many good things to share with you. I'm surrounded by Christmas joy at this point. I have Target, Walmart, Amazon, Michaels, and I think that's about it. It's just a big random Christmas haul. Now I have already shared a Hobby Lobby video as well as a Kirkland's video where we went and did a bunch of shopping. And at the end of those videos, I shared with you a haul. So I'm not going to reshare those items. So definitely go back and check that out if you're looking for even more things that I picked up. So after I share this decor haul, I am planning to jump right in with my Christmas decorating. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and stick around uh, to join my family, especially around the holiday season. It is the most wonderful time of the year. First off, down below I will have as much as I can linked that I will be sharing with you from today's video. Definitely check it out. I also have a link to some merch. Now this is one of the shirts. This was actually I think two years ago, um, so, but I have a couple of my designs that I have shared with you over the past couple of years link down below I am working on a new design for this year as well which will probably be launching here in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that I'll let you know when it goes live I'm going to start with Amazon I only have a few of those items to share with you and this first one kind of not Christmas related however I will be using it in my Christmas decorating and I just think it's so cool that I wanted to share it with you first so the first thing I ordered was this candle warmer lamp these seem to be all the rage these days and I wanted to give them a try I think they're just the best idea now there's some really pretty gold ones there's lots of different designs but I decided to go with the more just basic black I thought it would match my decor and actually our sconces in our living room have this same design so I thought it would just tie in really well together so I'm gonna open this up but the whole idea behind these is that you don't have to light your candles it's like a candle it's a candle warmer so your house will smell good without basically having a flame going. Okay, so this is adorable. It's even cuter than I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, this would be so fun on a shelf. So yeah, you just place your candle right here, plug it in. It So it also has buttons on it. So it has a timer, low, medium, high, and I cannot wait to put a Christmas candle right here with a little light coming down. It's gonna be so cute. This next item is actually a repurchase. I'm just adding more to my collection. I bought these last year, shared them with you. You guys all loved them. And there's a reason they are just the most gorgeous ornaments. Now these are glass ornaments. So I'm, you know, I try to stick with the shatterproof or shatter, what, I don't know, shatterproof but these are worth it. So if this is a pack of four, I think I bought two or three boxes last year. I'm just gonna slowly add to these. It's like $20 for a set of four. But yeah, they're like mercury glass ornaments. They come in all different kinds of colors, but you know me, I love my red, and I could use these on pretty much any tree in our house. I just wanted to grab um, another set of these. And this last item I actually saw when I was shopping in Hobby Lobby. I'm like, you know, let me check and see if it's cheaper on Amazon. So you can also find something like this there if you're looking. But I think that this is a little bit more affordable. And it is a wireless remote control like outlet set. So you get three outlets plus a little remote to control. So I have the smart outlet, I had one, and it didn't work all the time. It was wireless, controlled it through my phone. I just kind of gave up on it and haven't used it since. Um, so I'm gonna give these a try with three of my Christmas trees, just being able to turn them on and off easily um, with this. So yeah, I think that this is going to just be I don't know, it's gonna be a game changer, I think. I also ordered a couple of books on Amazon. One was, uh, I don't know, they're not really Christmas related, so I'm not gonna talk about them in today's video. I'll show you those when we get into decorating. But I did wanna talk about the Magnolia Journal Holiday Recipes magazine. I actually ordered this on, I think it was magazines.com, I don't know, I'll link it down below. And um, I'm gonna be using this not only for decorating, but also for baking, and it is just a beautiful, little magazine so yeah just wanted to mention that in case you did not see that she came out with one who doesn't love joanna Gaines? 
So I did just share a Walmart video as well. It was more geared towards our Thanksgiving table. However, it did share a few holiday items in that. I'm not going to reshare the pics and the garland, so you can go back and watch that if you haven't already. I shared a lot of things in that video. But I did want to re-mention this beautiful tea kettle. The green with the gold is so pretty and it's going to be perfect for the holidays. I'm thinking hot cocoa tray. This would just be so fun. So I wanted to give a mention to this beautiful tea kettle. It comes in lots of colors, but I love green and I think it's just going to complement a lot of my red decor because I definitely have a lot of that. So that was one of the items. The next item from Walmart, I'm actually sitting next to, is poking me in the side right now, but I was able to score a My Texas House tree. These are like impossible to get. I actually, so I just randomly went on my Walmart app and checked and I saw two in stock. So I ordered them for delivery and they canceled it saying out of stock. I was like, oh, bummer, I was too late to the game. And then I just randomly checked like a week later and they had one in stock. So I'm like, oh, I'll try again. They'll probably cancel it. It arrived. I was like, oh my goodness, jackpot. <laughs> So I just actually set it up before I um, sat down here. I wanted to make sure it worked and see what it was all about. So this is a beautiful tree. It is the, let me show you the box here. The My Texas House four foot pre-lit cypress pot Christmas tree. There you go. I'm gonna set it down. I would have loved to get two, but I am so happy that I was even able to score one. I don't know how I even it happened, but it is beautiful. It's just a different type of tree than I have at all, the cypress. I don't know that I have any other cypress looking trees and it's larger than I was thinking it was going to be. So beautiful tree. I'm actually planning to put this, I think, in our entryway. I think it'll look really, really pretty. Of course, it's pre-lit. It comes in a pot, but I'll probably put it in a basket or something like that. So yeah, I just wanted to mention the tree that was poking me <laughs> in the side here. And then also, oh, wrong bag here. Also from the My Texas House line, beautiful things. I went ahead and picked up some of these wooden white ornaments. I just thought they would be a fun way to add a pop of white to one of my Christmas trees. Probably a flock tree is what I'm thinking with these. These are $4.98 a piece. I just really like the detail on them, the tassels or whatever you call them. I don't know, just a little bit of a different texture. I think it'll look really pretty on the tree. So I happened to grab these while I was in the store. They seem really nice. I think they're going to work out great. I think I ended up grabbing like seven of them. I don't know. So most of the time I like to grab things in odd numbers. It just really depends what it is. So yeah, several of these white wooden ornaments. They also come in a more natural wood color. I just thought the white would probably coordinate a little bit better with my decor. If you watched my Hobby Lobby video, I drank the green juice. I jumped into the Grinch decor area and grabbed a few pieces there, actually quite a few pieces. And I did decide that I will do a tiered tray as well for our theater room. I know a lot of you are like, do it, Crystal. I'm like, I am going to do it. So there are a few small things I still need to grab yet. I might make a secret run to Hobby Lobby here later this afternoon and see what I can find. But anyways, I was able to score a few pieces for a theater from Walmart in the Grinch theme. I have to show you them. They're super cute. So this was $15.98. It is a little mini decorated Grinch Christmas tree. So you get the ornaments and it's just, you know, a fun little Grinch tree. So I thought we would just set this up on the table. Kind of fun. So one little mini Grinch tree, does it even say how 16 inches tall? So it's, I mean, it's pretty small. The last Walmart Grinch item. The big pillow. So he will also go on our couch with the other pillow that I picked up. Super cute. He was... I shouldn't say super cute. He's not cute. He's the Grinch, but you know what I mean. He's 1898. Let's talk Michaels. I actually share these in my Christmas plan and prep video just in case you were interested in them. So you got a little bit of a head start because these are very hard to find as well. These are the flocked glass ornaments in red. And I think, I don't know, are these the smaller ones? I'm not quite sure. They're the 3.1 inch ones. Love me some red flocked balls. <laughs> Sorry, 
I couldn't resist. $5.99 is what I paid for them. They were on sale the day that I stopped into the store. And so I grabbed four boxes of these. And now that I'm thinking about it, I purchased those brown ones. I actually might do these on the same tree as the brown ones, the red, the brown, maybe some silver in there as well. I think they're going to be really pretty. So I did grab these from Michaels. They have them in a lot of colors. These are very hard to find now. I grabbed these a couple of weeks ago and I'm so glad that I did. I haven't seen red ones anywhere besides Michaels. So got some of those. And then also when I was in Michaels, I grabbed some two rolls actually of this gar or not garland where is my mind ribbon it is like a red velvet this is the skinnier ribbon so I grabbed two rolls of these I thought maybe I would put these on some of my ornaments to hang on the tree to complement the ball so two of these I cannot remember how much they were I think they were five dollars a piece they're normally 12.99 but I would not have paid that it was definitely on sale so yeah I grabbed just two of those last but not least definitely not least this is probably the majority of my haul to share with you today is the target a lot of hearth in hand i just really liked the collection this year and of course i'm just really excited now that we're in our home and i just have more little areas to decorate and so yeah i went a little bit crazy i really don't even know where to start it's in a box here sitting next to me. Well, let's start with this. I picked up the advent calendar. I actually really like the Santa design of this and I have the perfect spot in my kitchen to hang this. And so got this advent calendar. Love this and all of these things I should be able to link down below. I think almost all of them are still available, which is great. I knew I needed this in my life. It's just this red metal box. Great for shelf decor. I might hide some things in here, who knows? But it's just a very basic red box and we have lots of shelves around here. Yeah, decorative box, $16.99. And then these are LED window candles. I love these. I don't think I'm going to be putting them in windows. I would need way too many of these. These are $14.99, but I love the wooden base to them. And of course their little lights. So these will just be a really pretty little accent light I'll use and probably, I actually have a few places, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna put these. So yeah, grab two of those. So yeah, I had seen them online, wasn't going to get them. Then I walked by them in the store. I was like, okay, those are actually really pretty. I love the wooden base on them. So yeah, grab two of those. Most of you know what my favorite word is around the Christmas time. The Target dollar spot. I try to avoid that section if I can because it's dangerous. However, this was calling my name and you can't, I mean, you guys all know, this is Crystal. I found this Joy, like Sherpa. It's like a wooden little block sign. So I had to pick this up. It was $3, definitely my favorite word. Tear tray potential right here. It's pretty small. It's actually a really good size for a tear tray, so that's probably where it'll go for me. But, oh, my desk. Oh, this could go on my desk too. I don't know, but yeah. This was the only thing I grabbed out of the Target dollar spot. I just thought it was so cute. I grabbed two of these gold stars. They have a marble base to them. I saw them in the store and thought they were just really unique. I don't know, they're just different and they'll add some height to my decor and I'm trying to add just a little bit of gold into uh, my decorating this year. So these are threshold decorative star figurines, 15 and 10 for these, but I had like a 10% off my purchase. So I used, or I bought these when I used that coupon. So I think those will be really fun. They're just really different. I haven't really seen anything like that. What else? Oh, this one's cute. A snow globe. Can you believe we don't have a snow globe? I mean, what? Seriously? I think we did in the past, but it didn't make it. it. Did not make it. But the kids are older now, and I think we can do this. So I saw this one, of course, at Target. I love just how it's neutral and white, so it can really go in any room in our house, even on like a stack of books. It'll be super cute. It does play music too, which I know they're going to just love. Musical water globe, it plays Silent Night. This was 20. But again, I bought it with that coupon. I'm going to show this to you next so I can get it out of the way. It's taking up a lot of room. But I picked up this doormat or ordered it. 
this is the larger one of the two that are available i just um we just have a different size front porch now and none of my doormats really came to this house i think we tossed them all they had lived a good life at our old house so this will be our christmas doormat for i'm assuming many years to come now so it says merry christmas it's very simple but it'll be really pretty layered with something else ordered two of these hearth and hand just red lumbar pillows i like how simple they are because they will match a lot of my other pillows that have designs or they're plaid so they're simple but they're still festive at the same time so one thing to mention they are just like this natural color on the back but yeah just two of the red lumbar pillows would it be a haul without pillows also from hearth and hand it's the decorative glass house set they're still in the box kind of hard to see 29.99 they were a little bit pricey in my opinion for what they are were when they arrived i'm like oh they're kind of small but they're adorable. These would be actually really cute with a gingerbread village. They give me like glass gingerbread vibes for whatever reason. They will be adorable on a shelf though. So I'll just open one quick and show you what it looks like. These actually might even fit on a tiered tray if you really wanted to, but I don't know. I don't want to hide them on a tray. I want to actually put them on a shelf, I think. So yeah, you get the brass finish. Sides are open, so you could do a candle if you wanted Oop. in them. But yeah, I think they'll be really fun. And they're just something unique, which is, I think, also why I really like them. I love houses and decorating villages everywhere, too. I'm just really excited about Christmas. I get this way every single year. So yeah, if you're the same, hit that thumbs up button. I also ordered the adorable milk and cookies set from Hearth in Hand. Isn't that Santa so cute? He matches the Santa on the advent calendar, which I think is perfect. Uh, we haven't ever, I don't think, had a set with a cup and a plate for Santa Claus. We've always had just like a plastic plate that we use. So as we start our first Christmas in our new house, I thought that um, Santa might want a cute little mug and tray for his cookies. New to Hearth and Hand this year were a couple of different drink style caddies. I had to grab them both. The first one I'm envisioning going down at our bar area. I think this would be, there's six glasses too. I mean, how perfect. So it comes with the caddy, the holder with the wooden handle, has that more coppery finish to it with the six glasses. Now these are, I already took it out of the box. These are really nice thick glassware with like the plaid. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. I had to set it down. But I thought these were just so beautiful. I mean, they could just be for display, but I think we might actually use these. So we have our bar area right next to our theater room. And I figured, you know, we could mix some drinks or non-alcoholic drinks. Come on, we have children here. But put together, pour some drinks in the glasses, and then we could carry this into our theater. I think, you know, just something fun. So if not, it'll look really pretty out in our bar area. So I don't have the price of those, but I wanna say it was like $29.99. I don't know, but super, super pretty. And these are something that aren't necessarily Christmas, so I'll probably leave these out all winter long. Then the other little set that I grabbed, I haven't even opened it yet, but I will with you today just to show you it, was the Hot Cocoa set. I went back and forth on this one. I actually didn't order it right away, and then I couldn't stop thinking about it because I'm doing my big hot cocoa bar in the kitchen, and I told myself, no mugs this year, and what do I do? This is the sweetest. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so glad I did it. So the, the cups... You know they hang and then you have the saucers on at the bottom they're like little teacup size they're so adorable oh my goodness definitely going on our hot cocoa bar okay this might be like my favorite hearth and hand christmas this year oh they're so cute it's just so sweet i don't know four cups four kids is perfect i also grabbed one of the little faux arrangements from hearth and hand has just the mixture of greenery. I have stems already that coordinate with this, but it's just a good shelf size and I have lots of those to decorate. So ordered one of these, this was $19.99. So that will be really pretty. I do like just the, like the cream or off white vase that it's in as well. So speaking of vases, I, in years past would 
basically put them all away and put just out a bunch of little Christmas trees. This year I actually want to keep out a lot of my vases and add greenery, do some fun greenery or beautiful, not fun, they'll be fun, but you know what I mean. Some really pretty arrangements in them. So I wanted to get just a bunch of stems. I had ordered these online, so they're still wrapped up, but these are more of like those red berry ones. I, I'm pretty sure I already have a couple of these, but I just wanted to get a couple of more to be able to fill a vase. These I think are 36 inch stems. They're quite long, $14.99 on those. So I only got two of them. And then last but not least from Target, these stems are probably the best deal if you could find them. So I grabbed three to start, came back, actually stopped there this morning to see if they had any more completely sold out already. I haven't checked online yet, but these are beautiful, just greenery stems from Threshold Pine Stem. They're only $5 a piece. They're that soft. They kind of are that soft touch, um, but they're pretty long as well. So I had initially grabbed three of these and then I got home, put them in a vase to see what they look like. I was like, oh, I love those. But yeah, they're already all sold out, which is crazy. But yeah, these are beautiful. Again, something you can leave out for the winter months. And as I was nearing the end of my box, I actually saw these. I ordered these off of Amazon. So we're going a little bit out of order here, but it'll be a good comparison here. So these are the $5 Target pine stems. And then these are the A floral ones that I had ordered on Amazon. So I have a bunch of the garlands in this. And so I wanted to get a couple of stems as well. I actually am going to probably get a couple more of them because it came up with my idea on how I want to use them. But yeah, these are the 38 inch Natural Touch Norfolk Pine, which everybody's raving about. I just wanted to get some to match my garlands that I plan to be using. And so, yeah, I initially ordered three, odd number, but I'll probably order like three more just to make sure I have enough. These always sell out. The garlands I think are already sold out. The, they have wreaths, they have little trees. I don't have those, but I at least wanted to get some of the stems. So got those as well. And I think with any luck, I covered everything now that I have surrounding me. As I just said that, there's a blanket behind me I didn't talk about yet. This is a hearth and hand blanket, has the pom-poms, could not resist. I love the red. And I think that's why I really, I don't know, I just love this collection because of course I love the red. And it's not overdone though. It's not like too much red. It's just the right amount. So a chunky blanket with the pom-poms. There's so many rooms I wanna put this in. We'll see where it ends up. This was, the tag is covering under, there's a sticker. Can't see the price right now, my apologies, but yeah, got a blanket as well. So, so cute. Totally forgot to share these two candles with you. Shouldn't be surprised, hearth in hand. I went for the balsam and berry scent. They had me at the adorable red plaid packaging on this one. I think this one's going to go on that candle lamp that I showed you. And then this is a beautiful coffee table candle, balsam and berry. It's one of the five wicks. I showed you a super, no, six wicks, I'm sorry. Very comparable to the one I showed you at Hobby Lobby. This one is green and it's so, so pretty and they smell amazing. But that's it, that is everything that I have to share with you for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Coming up next, we will start the Christmas decorating and I just am so excited to share it with you. It's a very special Christmas for us. But anyways, definitely check out the description box down below for everything that I shared with you and the links for them. And I will see you here coming up later this week. So tomorrow's Halloween and guess what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna start my Christmas decorating. Just, it seems fitting. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later this week for my very first Christmas decorate with me. Thanks for watching. Bye.